Yeah. YouTube, back with another fucking video. And you know the vibes, when I'm in the car, you know where I'm going, or you know where I'm coming from. On the way to the gym, uh, <clears throat> on the way to the gym, it's a push day, so we're about to do some chest, shoulders, a uh, little bit of arms, you know, a bunch of shit. It's about to be a good day, you know what I'm saying? Rolling out that juice, rolling out that drink, you feel me? Get, you know what I'm saying? About to get some good working, but um, quick little video while I'm on the way there. Uh, act your motherfucking age. Act your motherfucking age. Um, I know you hear this. It's cliche. You hear it all the time. You know you should be acting your age, not your shoe size, shit like that. But that's a real thing, especially nowadays, because everything is, <clears throat> at least in the black community. Oh shit. At least in the black community, all our shit is, is based around hip hop. So, hip hop gives you this youthful, uh, it embraces the young, you know, the younger generation, shit like that. Even the dudes that's been there, been around, you know, for you know, decades and shit like that, it still, it still promotes the youthful essence of it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> I'm just saying once you get to a certain age, for the people that's not in the music industry or in the entertainment business, for the, most of us regular people, um, you need to be acting your age. You need to be presenting yourself in your age group. You know what I'm saying? So for dudes, you know what I'm saying? I'm just 18 to 24. 18 to 24, you know, that's your young years. You know, that's your youthful time. That's your party time. That's your finding yourself grinding years like you know what i'm saying that type of shit right there that's cool you know that's cool for all the graphic tees and brick jeans you know you know the shit you see in the music videos all the uh, marys and shit like that you know all that that's for that age group you know uh 18 to 24 you know what i'm saying that's y'all age group that's y'all you know let y'all rock all the fly shit that's popping off right now and then um ain't nothing wrong with that as you get to 25 to 30 window range, <clears throat> you need to be start, you need to start um, transforming that look. I'm not saying you gotta get rid of everything. No, you don't gotta change, <clears throat> you don't gotta change completely, but start changing it into a more age appropriate attire, you know what I'm saying? You don't gotta wear suits just yet, but ain't nothing wrong with wearing a suit either. You know, get some more bi uh, business casual look, get some more formal wear, you know? Switch over from the graphic tees to just like some solid plain t-shirts or some button down or button up t-shirts or um some turtlenecks and some nice you know experiment and some more classier looks some more uh professional type looks because as you, you know as you get older that's what you need to be presenting yourself as you know 25 to 30 that's your grinding years right there so as you grind in the network, you need to present yourself like you somebody to be taken serious. You can't be taken serious. You wouldn't go to a meeting in no motherfucking uh, skinny jeans or ripped up jeans and some shit like that. That you know, some childish shit, some shit you were wearing in high school, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's <coughs> a time and a place for all that shit. But as you get, as you transform over to that, as you mature into that next age group of 25 to 30. Your, your look needs to reflect that shit. Your look needs to reflect that shit, bro. Like, you can't be dressing like you in high school forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's a place for the Jordan. It's a place for the the uh, graphic tees and you know, things like that. If you you know, it's a, it's a place for all of that. But I would say as you get the 25, 30 range, you should. That should be about 20% if not 10, 20% to 15% of your wardrobe should be that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? That should be, that should be what your, you know, that should be 15, 10 to 20% of your wardrobe should be that type of shit. The rest of it should be, you know, more age appropriate clothing, basically. That's all I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna get into a full wardrobe haul <coughs> type shit because that's not what this video is. I'll do that another time. But you should be your clothing should it should mature with you, right? And as you get to 30 
to 35 range, 30, 30, shit, 30 plus to be honest. 30 plus, all that shit, all that childish shit should be out the window. You know what I'm saying? All that childish shit should be out the window. Now, when I say childish shit, I mean like all the the crazy graphic tees or one to look young, you know, one to look like <coughs> a rap, one to look like these rappers, like, I'm bad. I, I, <coughs> I swear I was down the wrong pipe. Pause. But, um, yeah, you should stop trying to have that want to have the image of like NBA young boy or, or Lil Durk and them. You know what I'm saying? You stop trying to dress like like that's your lane. Like that's not your lane. Man. You know what I'm saying? As you at 30 plus, you need to be, uh, you know, formal. You need to have some nice jeans. You need to have jeans, slacks, suits, all kinds of shit in your closet. You need to have a, a, a nice, mature and a wide variety of shit in your closet as a as you mature into the 30 age range. So I'm 29, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, you know, I'm just about in that window. And, and like I told y'all before, I, I strength, my look is more, more mature these days. I go for the old school, to me, old school player type look. That's my shit, you know, the, the, the hat, the fedora hat, or the, the wide brim hats, you know, nice overcoat, button up shirt, you know, some, some fly shit. You see it in my stories when I post, when I step out. But you know, some fly shit, you know what I'm saying? That's the type of look I go for. Some shit you wear to cigar lounge, you know, things like that. And then you also have some clothing for like, if you go to a golf course, or if you go <coughs> on a boat, or you go to a meeting, it, it, you have clothes for each different occasion, you know what I'm saying? You also have clothes for, you know, if you're going out with family, like just to a dinner, or if you're going out to a party, not a party, but like, a day brunch or some things like that. You have outfits that match the occasion. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying get rid of your Jordans either. I'm not saying get rid of your Jordans. Cause I, I don't wear Jordans like that, but I got a lot of running shoes, from like Air Maxes and, and just Nikes in general. You keep all of that, but it's a time and place for it. You should also have Chelsea boots. You should also have dress shoes. You should also have Oxfords. You should also have a boat shoe. Like it's a bunch of stuff that you should have but all of that comes with the knowledge and maturity, you know what I'm saying? You get that stuff as you, you know, age up. You get age appropriate clothing. So you, you I look in your closet at 30, it shouldn't be all Jordans and fucking sneakers. It shouldn't be all fucking, you know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be Jordans, Nike sneakers, nothing. Like no other type of shoe. There's no diversity. That just tell me what type of person you are. You know what I'm saying? That's, I wouldn't want to do business with a person. I look in their closet, that's all I see. Because I know mentally where you're at, you know. Whether that's true or not, that's the perception you give off. Like I said, perception is reality. So <clears throat> your image speaks for what you want people to perceive you as. So if I see you out in public and you my age or older, <clears throat> and I see you wearing certain type of clothing, that's where I'ma judge you on. I judge people on a lot of things. Another thing too with that, act your age, you know what I'm saying? The little details matter. So if I see you out in in a t-shirt or in some pants or something like that, and it's wrinkled, I take that as a mental note too, that you wouldn't take, that you wouldn't go the extra mile to make sure that your shirt wasn't wrinkled. To me, that means you wouldn't go the extra mile to make sure something was right on a business venture or, or a project we're working on. Little things like that. So if I pay attention to that, somebody who has way more money than me, and way more status and network, probably would pay attention to some shit like that too. Or even worse, you know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of things, but you gotta be cognizant of that when, you, when you're stepping out. That's why I say image is important, but also acting your age is important. Uh, another thing too, um, <clears throat> With acting your age, bro, don't be trying to, like I said, back to the hip hop culture, you know, rap. Don't be trying to be no gangbanger at fucking 25, bro. Don't be trying to be no gangbanger. If you wasn't in it in high school, don't be trying to join them shit now, bro. Dead serious, man. It don't make you cool, it don't make you hard. That type of shit, bro. Because it's, it's pointless. <clears throat> it's pointless. What do you have to gain uh, joining that shit out of like not as a, you know not as a youth anymore? Like a lot of that stuff, 
a lot of this stuff stems from guys trying to impress girls because girls perceive the alphas in the community as the, 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 the hood niggas, the thugs, the, 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 the gang, but you know, shit like that. <clears throat> That's what they perceive as alpha because it's the aggression, it's the, it's the mentality they have. I don't get, you know, the bad boys, drug dealer type shit like that. And I'm gonna tell y'all niggas something straight up, like, don't let that shit, don't let that shit cloud your judgment and get you killed out here over some bitches. Cause that's what it all boils down to. Trying to impress females. Trying to impress females or trying to impress friends or trying to impress somebody that's not you. You know, trying to impress everybody else but yourself. You know what I'm saying? At your age, you look nuts. You look nuts. 30, 35 and up, still gangbanging. Still trying to be doing that shit. Still trying to be in the field like that. You look nuts, bro. Especially if you got kids and shit, bro. You look nuts, bro. Like, you look crazy. Like, especially if you ain't even active like that no more. You look crazy, bro. Like, stop trying to... It's really like it's really like a talk a lot of people be missing out on. Because nobody... Who, who's going to have these conversations with people? Like, nobody is having... Because everybody... Most people don't have their fathers. Most people don't have strong male figures to grow up on. Everybody grew up under their mom, a strong mom or some shit like that. So it's like a lot of disconnect when it comes, especially talking to dudes, it's a, it's a disconnect right there. Where this is the type of, this is the type of masculine image that we presented. So that's what you go off of. And then you uh, follow hip hop and who's the dominant, who's the masculine uh, uh, presence or, or role model that you look up to, you know? You see, you see these dudes, they get money, they get money, they get all the women, so this is what you gravitate to. I wanna be like that, I want that, you know what I'm saying? I could do that. So that's what the image is, but they don't show you, if there's no other, there's no other archetype for most of us to, to connect with. Not everybody is the hip hop image, you know? Not all of us is the hip hop archetype that look, that wanna dress like that. Some of us is the more gentleman look. Some of us is uh, the, uh, I won't say hippie, uh, but the, you know, the rugged, you know, the rugged, low cut, rough look. I don't, I don't know, what it, I don't know what it's called, but you know, it's, that's so, some more some other people's type. Some people just hippie, hippie look, skater look, you know, a different archetype for most people, but it's not all, it's not all encompassed in one. So you really gotta find. You gotta find your look, gotta find your archetype, and then, you know, cater that to your age group and your maturity level. But man, but for real though, I just really wanted to touch on that. Uh, I'm about to pull up at the gym now. But yeah, man, at your age, because it's, it's maddening, especially for me, because I'm, you know, I'm finna be 30 this year. Like, that shit, I see niggas my age still acting like we in high school, dressing like we in high school doing shit like chasing bitches like we in high school bro there's too much other shit going on out here like there's too much money you gotta be trying to make and 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 a bunch of other stuff bills and shit we gotta get houses and cars and shit we gotta provide for our kids and shit like this you really got time to be sitting there acting like a kid yourself bro dressing like a kid yourself but like I, like I said too, you can't save everybody, and a lot of some people, a lot of people won't get it. And you know that's just that. But yeah, man, I just wanted to talk on that real quick. But that's all I got for y'all. Yo. Until next time, this is Wolfgang Peak. This is Wolfgang Lifestyle, and I'm out. <laughs>